All right, collectors, today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at Gridiron and the Gridiron Televiper uh, upgrade pack. So I just got this in the mail a few, what, a couple weeks ago. I have one more um, thing that I, I ordered that I should have gotten in the mail. But anyways, it takes, it usually takes Gridiron a couple weeks to send out, you know, stuff. So it's okay, it's a little mom and pop shop. Uh, I've had good luck with them. So for those of you that have been on the channel for a while, you know I like to sponsor American companies. Uh, I, I don't sponsor them. That's a, that's the wrong word. I don't get jack from Gridiron. I don't get any codes. I don't get any money off. Uh, but I'm always looking to support American companies, and they are. You know, Gridiron is an American company. Um, you know, just like Bobby Vallis companies, an American company, and I want them to do great. So, uh, especially small business owned companies. So anyways, um, I bought this just like anybody else does. Didn't get any discounts. I saw it was available and I thought uh, the Hasbro uh, version of the uh, Televiper stuff was uh, less less than great. You know, I did, uh, it wasn't bad, but I thought it could have been better. That's just me, uh, the, the weapons and stuff that he had. So I saw this out there and I was like, well, I'll give this a shot. Let's give it a shot. Anyways, uh, we got to get old Televiper out of here. So I probably should have done this off camera. I probably should have done this before, but let's go ahead and do that now. Let's get him out of the vehicle uh, real quick so we can do a quick review. All right, there he comes. Come on, here we go. There we go. All right, pop right out of there. I'll set you right there. Okay. So here he is, Mr. Televiper. I actually uh, like this version of the Televiper way better because he was the one that I grew up with the instead of the uh, Tiger Force one or the Ronald McDonald Python Patrol looking one. It's okay if you like that one. I don't. Uh, that wasn't the one I came up with. So, uh, But that's okay. That's why we collect these things, right? Because they remind us of our childhood. And that particular one did not remind me of uh, my childhood. So anyways... Uh, let's take a look at what the pack comes with and then we'll start to equip him, right? So let's put him, let's put him over here uh, or to the side over here. Let's put him right there. Uh, number one, he comes with a power cell, but I'm not sure where it goes. <laughs> Do we stick it on him? I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Uh, but it does come with, uh, okay, this looks like, okay, this is elastic. And the elastic goes straight into the core here. And it's stretchy. So really stretchy. Okay, so that gives you plenty of room to move around with. Um, and I, I guess they tied it in there or he glued this part into it. So here it is. I guess this looks, I'm not sure what kind of weapon this is. It looks closer to like an MP5 or something. Um, I don't know. It's got the gridiron logo there. It looks like a very realistic weapon. It looks like a shortened version um, of a realistic weapon. And then he's got the old Televiper jamming device down here at the bottom. Nobody's ever explained to me how this works. And I've never seen a jamming system like this before, but there it is. <laughs> it probably emits electronic uh, waves uh, through there and jams whatever it's pointing at. And then if that doesn't work, well, he just shoots you in the face. So there's that. So here's the weapon. See what it looks like right there. Very nicely done. Does the, does the magazine come out? It does. The magazine does come out, but it's very loosey-goosey. So that's going to be a thing. Hold on. I always keep a little bit of this around because you never know when you're going to need it. I don't think I'm ever going to take this magazine out. So oh, you can even... You can even, can you guys see that? You can even see the bullet he put in there. Gosh, if he just would have put some paint on it, it would have looked amazing. But that's fine. I get it. That would have might, might kicked up the price a little too high. All right. So I'll just put that in there just to hold it in place because it's it was real loosey-goosey there. All right. We've got some paint there. I thought it had some numbers on it, but it doesn't. That's uh, the cone there in the front. A different type. So here you've got this dull matte gloss, like almost a semi-gloss. And then here it's got a high gloss, which is fine. I expect that on there. Uh, here's one side of it. Very nice. With the attachment on there. 
And then here's the other side of it. Very nice. It looks like it's got a bendable stock there, but it doesn't. Uh, we saw the Elite Operator one. That one has a bendable stock. This one does not. And I guess it's got like a range finder here and a viewfinder up here up at the top. So if you want an upgraded version of this, Great Iron sells it. It's in a case and I reviewed it a couple days ago. Uh, it, it's, it's kick, it's, <laughs> it kicks butt. How about that? Um, I don't, I don't generally curse on the channel. So it, that's because I just don't feel like it, but, um, it doesn't preclude me from cursing in the future. <laughs> That's why it's not for children. Sorry, children. Um, anyways, um, so there it is. From this side, you've got the gridiron logo. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm indifferent about it. I think it's fine. I think to me, it kind of gets lost in the details. So I'm good with it. it. Just looks like another cool little logo there. So there's that. And you've got the little stretchy thing here that kind of connects into this power cell, right? And the power cell kind of, I guess it's not really a power cell. It's more like a frequency, um, modulator so you you dial in the frequency that you want to jam and then you send out uh you know a powerful burst of energy that jams it well now it makes sense okay well that'll do it and then you get the backpack so let's take a look at the backpack here Ooh, and you also get a knife look at man they really put a lot of stuff in this i'll put the price of it and everything maybe up here in a few minutes there you go so with the um backpack okay i know oh i see what you did all right you know what's interesting too is that this backpack <laughs> this is realistic <laughs> because my rucksack in the army had this same metal frame this same doggone bite you it actually had some padding here so you would have some padding here and then some padding around here so it wouldn't just bite into your rear end uh, but yeah, this is this frame is very familiar to me, at least this back part. So that's realistic, man. A little too realistic. I might be having some trauma there. Anyways, <laughs> but anyways, so you get this little, um, yeah, I used to hike with this thing or carry ruck this thing for miles, miles and miles and miles. Moving on. Uh, here's the radio that you get with it, the little walkie-talkie. There's no numbers on it, but it looks nicely, uh, you know, painted there. I'm glad they put a the little splash of color. And there's the logo again. <laughs> Some people get annoyed by that, but again, to me, it's just fine. It gets lost in the details, so uh, I'm okay with that. There, there it is. Let me, let me, yeah, there it is. Very nice. Cool. So there's that. And we already saw the um, the gridiron uh, or the little rucksack that they give you with it or the ruck, ruck frame. So there it is. Very nice. Well, uh, well designed. Okay. So there's that. And then you get the little kind of like a uh, rainbow knife or whatever this is. The, you know, survival knife. Does it have a compass at the top? I remember when I was a kid, well, this actually looks more like a bayonet knife. You see that? Because it's got the attachment right there. This is the most realistic bayonet knife I've ever seen. <laughs> Anyways, um, do you guys remember um, when when we were kids? Well, when I was a kid, the Rambo had that one knife. And everybody, I remember everybody was looking for that combat knife. Um, the the K-Bar, K is that what you... I don't know. It was a marine knife. You know, everybody was talking about the marine knife or whatever. I, I, I don't know why, because the, I, and I don't know if they still issue these in the army. But when I was a youngster, when I was a young warthog, sorry about that. You guys didn't tune in to hear me sing my horrible singing. But when I was in the army, we would get issued a bayonet. Do they still issue bayonets in the army? I don't know. That's how long I've been out of the army. <laughs> For freaking ever, it seems like sometimes. Uh, but we would get a bayonet issued with our M16 and we would attach it. And do you guys even still train? I mean, I'm, I'm asking soldiers here. I don't know about Marines, if they still train. I'm sure they did uh, back when I was, you know, back in the day. But uh, this was something that, you know, you would, uh, you know, you would get the command to fix bayonets and then you would charge and you would charge a sack of potatoes or something. I don't know. You just stab it a whole bunch of times until, until they said stop. So uh, there it is. Very nice. Oh boy. The memories that that flooded back to me because this is a well done one. Anyways. All right. So let's put it together already. Um, it feels light. It doesn't feel too delicate. 
Um, this feels as about as delicate as most of the uh, gridiron weapons feel. So not bad, not bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this. This goes in here, I believe, very nicely. It fits snugly. Very good. I'm not sure where this goes. Is this? Oh, this is. Okay. All right. So I don't know if this translates well. Or maybe I'm just full of crap, but I remember um, in in the army we would have these antennas that were flat, uh, and you could fold them in on each other, and then they would pop back up. So it feels like this is what he's trying to replicate here, uh, and then you could actually stand them up. I may have to apply some heat to unbend that and have this antenna stick straight up. It makes sense that it would be an antenna. Uh, so that it, it would stick straight up. I don't remember ever having it bend like this, but they could take a lot of punishment um, because they weren't regular cylindrical antennas. They were just like a steel, almost like a tape measure type of antenna that would stick straight up and it could bend and it could do all kinds of banana things that most civilian antennas would balk at you for and break. All right, so let's put the, you know what? It's going to need some, that is too loose. It's going to need some of this tacky stuff on there let's get some let's get some tackiness on there it's not because that's not going to work let's put some on there real quick always keep some tacky handy my friends always 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 so there's all oh, perfect look at that slides right and now it's in there nice and tight not too tight but just enough to give it some friction you can pull that out if you want it and then the knife i guess would just go right there now ah, that's going to need some tacky too man that's a little bit too loose, but that's okay. That's why we have, and I don't mind using tacky. I'd rather it be a little loose that can be fixed with tacky rather than super tight. And then you just break it that, cause that pisses me off. Is that a curse word? I don't know. Probably not. So there's that. All right. So there's that. So let's, let's plug it in and see what he looks like. Let's see. I want to be careful with it because I definitely don't want to break this because this, these Joes are, hold on, look at that. Let's see if we can fit it onto them without breaking it. Oh gosh. Let's see. There. push it in without breaking it are we going to do it without breaking it can i pop this off let me take that off real quick because i don't want to let's see if we can do it without breaking gridiron stuff it seems to me a little long that's how far back it is but i definitely don't want to clip it because that would that's about as far as it'll go and that's about as far as i want to push it in because uh, I definitely don't want to break it. That would upset me greatly. So we may need to trim that a little. And that's fine. I don't mind trimming it later. So that's okay. And this might need to be heated up to straighten it out. Because it's um, I'm 100% sure that's, that's an antenna. That he's got those special weird antennas that we used to have. Not civilian antennas. But those crazy military army ones. Uh, should it go underneath? I'm thinking that this should probably go. Let me pop this out. It's easier to go this way. Yeah. All right. Let's have him do kind of like a cool pose real quick. I don't want him to grab that. As soon as he grabs that, it's going to break or pop off. All right, there it is. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can have him at least do a cool light. I've got the Joes where I want them. Let's see, put your hand underneath it there, Televiper. Let's go. All right. Well, there, let me adjust a bit. There you go, guys. What do you think? Look at that, pointing right at you. How scared are you? <laughs> 
So anyways, there he is. It looks really great to me. Does it, I think it looks better or at least as good or to me, it looks more realistic. How about that? It looks way more realistic than what Hasbro gave us. That's just my opinion. Yours may vary and probably should because how, how boring a place it would be if we all had the same stupid opinion. So anyways, uh, I love it. Uh, do I recommend it? Yeah, uh, but with the caveat that, look, there is some room there. I might have to trim that. I don't know. We'll think about it, but it looks great. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to do another review of some more gridiron stuff that I've gotten. Um, I think I've gotten some some of the eel stuff as well. I've gotten, there was another shotgun type operator weapon that I picked up as well. I picked up all the cool stuff. So more than likely, if it's been released by gridiron in the past year, I probably have it. So yeah, I'll be doing some more reviews on gridiron. Uh, and for the most part, um, we'll see how it goes. I mean... I, I, Gridiron's not paying me for this. Um, I'm I'm not sponsored by anybody. And nobody's making any money out of this. And num and the and the last thing I'm going to say is I'm not an expert reviewer. I'm an amateur. So if I get some things wrong, you'll forgive me. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, and and I appreciate everybody's uh, um, follow. I appreciate everybody joining me on this adventure. Uh, and remember, why do we do this hobby, right? We do this hobby to put a smile on our faces and have a good time and just get away from the world for a little while. So if, if this hobby puts a frown on your face or gets you a little bit twisted up, then you're probably doing something wrong or you're letting something get under your skin that shouldn't get under your skin. Um, we do this to be happy. We do this to escape and we do this to put a smile on our faces. So next time you're feeling kind of blue, Go ahead and grab a toy, crack it open, escape from the world for a little bit, and put a smile on your face. Um, finally, if I've amused, entertained, or informed you, and you've watched me up to this point, why don't you give me a follow if you like, or subscribe and like the, the, the channel. And um, as always, I appreciate every single one of you, and I'm very thankful and appreciative for, for all the feedback and, and uh, subscription. So as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep rolling these out.